Hi, this is Larry Hall up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Welcoming all my YouTube subscribers and if you're a first time viewer, hope you enjoy this. This is part three of a three part series that I'm doing on growing your own tobacco. In part one, I uh, explained how to germinate your seeds and get them going. Part two, I told you how to plant them and how to maintain them. Uh, take off the suckers, do the topping, save your seeds and other things. Now we're ready to harvest and uh, cure and dry your tobacco and smoke it. Okay? Here's what we're going to do. Yeah, first thing we're going to do, now we're ready to harvest our tobacco. It is uh, grown pretty tall. We've topped off and took off the flower heads off the ones that we want to grow and we've kept two or three or, or how many ever seeds you want of the biggest nicest plants you want to let them go to seed what you want to do is just leave them until the seed pods will turn a dark brown you can collect and break them off and, and store them you could even store them right in the seed pods which I do and then when you want the seeds uh, you can just break them open and tons of little seeds will come out. As a matter of fact, you'll get about a hundred seed pods per plant and each seed pod can uh, contain up to a thousand seeds. So, I mean, we're talking a lot. So you can have a hundred thousand seeds off one plant. Next, okay, what we want to do is, I'm going to show you some pictures here. You want to wait till your bottom leaves. This is how your uh, plant is going to mature and how you're going to, you're going to harvest it in a series. You're going to start with the bottom leaves first. They're going to turn uh, first a speckled yellow, greenish, and a light greenish, and then a more of a yellow. You want to get it a pretty light pale yellow. Uh, the matter of fact, the better yellow that you let it get before you harvest them, the better it will dry. It won't dry green. It will dry uh, to a nice, real pretty color. Okay. So gra you know, harvest those bottom leaf it might be the bottom two or three leaves of each plant you're going to go through you'll you'll be able to tell looking in, at these pictures uh, when these leaves are pretty yellow that's you're, you're going to harvest those you're going to break off the bottom two or three leaves that are yellow on the plants okay what you want to do then okay you're going to hang these okay and you can hang them in a old barn you can hang them in a garage you can hang them uh, in any area where it would get a little, uh, uh, you know, uh, dark, you know, you could put it in a shed or anything like that, or on the back of Eva house. I wouldn't hang them right in a direct sunlight, but hang it in a place, and uh, especially if it's got a little air, okay? The way I gather these together when I harvest these leaves, grab uh, about four or five. These, these leaves, the stems on these leaves are going to be huge. Some are almost going to be a bigger round of celery. So you're going to grab about four or five leaves together and bunch them in your right hand. And you're going to go down and you're going to get a bag of some good heavy duty rubber bands. And this is what I've found works better than any way of hanging tobacco. Because the rubber bands, you're going to take and you're going to hold them four or five stems. And you're going to wrap them rubber bands around them stems so they're bunched together. What happens is, as the tobacco dries, it's going to shrink. And the nice thing about the rubber bands, it goes right with it and shrinks right down. Once you've got these bunches, go along, wrap four or five leaves together, throw them down. Go along, grab four or five more leaves off the next plants, bunch them together, wrap them up tight with the rubber band, throw them down. When you get them all done, go ahead and throw them in a old banana box or any box or anything and carry them to wherever you're going to hang them. Now to hang them, I took a billy, you can see in here, this picture of uh, uh, where my shed is, and you could do it, you could even hang up a clothesline type thing and hang a black plaster or plastic tarp or anything, make your own thing out, out of, and uh, you know, use one line to hold like a giant tent and uh, the other line underneath it to hang your tobacco on. Just about anything will work like that. And like, you can go underneath for uh, uh, below on the show, show more button, click below the video, and I'll have a link to how to grow tobacco uh, forum website. You can go there and they've got in-depth uh, 
uh, articles on drying the tobacco and everything like that. It, but it's pretty simple. You just want a place where you can get some movement of air. Where it's humid. It's hot, and uh, the slowly dries. Okay. What you want to do then is after you've got all these bunched up and you've carried them where you're going to hang them, just spread the couple, two, three of the leaves apart and hang it right over the rope. I string rope back and forth and then it just hangs on there. It's real easy. And after it's hung there, um, oh, two, three weeks, it's going to get drier. The, the stems are going to go together and stuff like that. You'll be able to tell when the the leaves are getting pretty dry. Um, you can leave it there all winter. You can just leave it wherever you've got until you're ready to use it. Uh, you can uh, take it down and, and what you do is you, you can strip the tobacco. The whole idea is if you're going to store it after a while, you uh, take the tobacco and hold it in one hand, one leaf, and you hold the stem. And if you run your hand down, you can strip that leaf right off the stem and throw the stem away. Plus if you're going to store it that way your chance of mold uh, getting any mold or anything is a lot less if you get it off that stem because that stem maintains a lot of moisture. There's many ways to cure tobacco. Okay, You're going to let it dry. I uh, let it cu uh, cure naturally. Usually, I mean some of it, you're going to find some leaves that were fell off uh, the, the thing that uh, underneath this. Virginia gold is so mild that you can shred it up uh, and I'll show that in a little bit here's some ways of shredding the tobacco I happened to luck out because I had a friend uh, that I met on a tobacco farm that built me a tobacco shredder homemade one uh, you can use a pasta shredder so I'll show a video on that that works that works pretty great um, you can cut it with the scissors they, uh, some people take it and put it in a food processor and chop up the leaves that way. I don't really like that because if you look at your uh, uh, tobacco you buy or regular cigarettes, you want strands rather than chunks because then your fire won't fall off. When you light a cigarette, it won't fall off. Strands hold the fire. You, know, you, want, you want to come up with long, skinny strands. Some people say a paper shredder, well, it's a little too thick. So uh, use your ingenuity. There is some different shredders available. You can go online and check. Go on, uh, do a search on YouTube. Go a search on Google. And I'll be posting something more in depth than that later if I can come up with some other. This pasta shredder video is pretty impressive. It, it does a real nice job. And um, there is some other shredders available around there if you do some searching. But uh, and as far as curing the tomato, okay. I, if mine hangs six months or so, I mean, I, I'm smoking it, okay? You can even smoke it before that. Once it's dry, uh, you will be able to tell. When the leaves are, they're not brittle, but what, what they call in case. It'll just be in case. You can work with it, but you can peel it off the, the stem. You'll be able to, uh, sometimes you, some people might want to roll it up and and take a scissors and, and uh you know, cut little strands. That I did that for the first year. And it worked okay. And there's other ways to do it. Some people say, okay, I want to make a cigar. Go on howtogrowtobacco.com and they've got those guys, you know, I don't make cigars, but I mean, there's guys that, you want to learn all that, there's a little more trip. I just want to show you how to harvest it, the best time to do it. Okay, after you've harvested it now, and uh, you went through, it might be another week or so, and those other leaves are going to start getting yellow and yellow. Start going through and take another series and go through. It's an ongoing process. As, uh, as the bottom leaves and as it starts going up the plant, they're going to mature, turn yellow, a limpy yellowish color. Take them off, bunch them together, spread them, hang them on, and let them dry, okay? Might even put a box fan in there if they're in an enclosed area and it's hot. Uh, I had a shed that I kept them in, and and I wanted to keep the humidity up because you don't want them to dry green. So I would even put a little humidifier in there. But uh, I even did mine in my greenhouse last year, and it worked great, real great in a greenhouse because it was humid. And if I wanted a little more humid, you want it humid because you don't want the leaves to dry too fast that they have a chance to fully turn that golden yellow or brownish color. Like I said, the whole trick is to uh, 
wait for the leaves to turn as yellow as possible that way you don't have the chance of it turning green now there's different ways to cure tobacco some guys take it and after they've hung it up and it's gotten limp and it's kind of cured a little bit they'll take it and they'll um and it's set we're doing what's called a color cure first when you first hang it you're waiting for the color to any green to dissipate from it you're waiting for it to turn that yellowish color a light brownish color and then some guys will take an old refrigerator and here's kind of a unique idea they'll take a crock pot and put it in an old refrigerator and fill it up with water and they'll do this a couple times a day and they'll get some of those cloth bags like a Walmart you get your groceries and you can buy them for 50 cents and they'll st uh, you know put their tobacco in there take it off the stems put it in there and if you you're speeding up the process of curing of just not by it'll get about 120 130 degrees in there and then twice a day you open up the door fill the crock pot with water and just let it steam in there and and and, and take the bag out once uh, uh once or twice a week dump out all the the tobacco shake it up put it back in the bags hang it in there it it makes it ferment faster and break down and you can tell when your tobacco is ready when it's really getting great because you'll be able to take up some leaves and hold them to your nose and smell it and you'll get a sweet smell nice sweet smell but uh, that's it. Um, that's pretty much it on the right. Like I said, you know, follow up and go underneath the uh, video, and I'll have links to. Uh, um, if this is the first time you've seen this video, or seen any of my tobacco videos, I'll have links to uh, uh, how to germinate, how to grow it, and then of course this final one, uh, how to harvest it and cure it. But there's different some different methods. Me, I take it, I hang it, I take it down. Uh, when it's set the color and it's got a nice cool and brown and I wait till it's a little humid where I can still work with it if it gets brittle on you very brittle here's what I do take it off gently off the string or whatever you've got it hanging on put it in, in a non-scented garbage bag and get a mist bottle and spray it good close up the bag and put a rubber band on it and if it sets overnight it'll hydrate and then you can work with the leaves you can take it off the stems then I'll lay out the leaves until they get just enough dry you can work with them but they're not real wet but they're not dry and cut them up and then smoke them you'll be amazed how good this tobacco tastes you're gonna really enjoy it if you got any questions go ahead and uh, post some comments underneath or you can go to my YouTube, it'll say send message, you can click on that button and, and send me a message. I'd be glad to help you in any way I can. But that uh, pretty much wraps it up. Uh, thanks everybody for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for uh, a lot of the people that took the offer to get the tobacco seeds. Um, you're going to have a blast. There's lots to learn. It's not real hard. But saving a ton of money on tobacco and knowing you grew your own and you knew there's no chemicals in it, uh, there's a great satisfaction in that. Anyway, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Ciao.